The Midlands International Auto Show makes its way to the CenturyLink Center on January 22nd. We don't have to wait that long to get a look at what's new. Mike Amusio with Kelly Blue Book is taking us inside the LA Auto Show. Good morning, Micah. Good morning. Yeah, uh, we're here at the LA Auto Show, and it takes a lot to make an auto show happen. I mean, you can see there's all this activity behind me, but uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for people to come out, check out the new cars, and get a little bit of a hint about what's coming down the road, just what's in the future. Hey, what are some of the biggest trends emerging from the new lineup of cars? Well, you know, uh, in Los Angeles, we're super hip, forward-thinking types, and we've uh, got an eye on being green. And actually, behind me is a really good example of that, those concepts combined. This is the Mitsubishi XR PHEV concept. That's a lot of letters, but that PHEV part uh, means plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. So the exterior, wildly aggressive. Uh, they, uh, during the unveil, you know, you have the sheets coming off, and it's uh, this angular design, just, uh, you know, spectacular drama, all that stuff, the kind of things that you want in an auto show, but hidden underneath that evocative exterior is a hybrid powertrain, a 1.1 liter three-cylinder engine and an electric motor. They say it'll theoretically do 65 miles per gallon, and that's really one of the big themes that we're seeing not only at the LA show, but also in automotive world in general, is uh, style performance merging with fuel economy. Which vehicles seem to be generating the most excitement? You know, there's a, a lot of buzz around. Um, there's a really cool concept from Chevrolet called the Chaparral 2X concept, and it's uh, it's something that's derived from. Uh, it's actually a video game car, but they ba made it in real life, so that's really cool. There's some uh, some hype about the Mercedes-Benz S-Class Maybach, which is super fancy. But to be honest, uh, the stuff I'm excited about are the cars that I'm going to be able to drive, the cars that normal people can afford. Acura unveiled an updated ILX, which is their entry luxury option, and uh, it's a pretty neat looking car actually. Actually, they've uh, added LED headlights and taillights. They've improved the suspension. Uh, and really, what's, where's, where the news is, is under the hood. Uh, all the ILXs now have a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine, putting out 201 horsepower, so it's plenty peppy. But the news is it's paired with an eight speed dual clutch transmission. Uh, and there's a trend for you. The increasing number of speeds that transmissions have, that's a great way to have a fun, powerful car, but also one that has great fuel economy because the engine works right in its ideal RPM. PM range. You touched on hybrid and alternative fuel vehicles. Are we still seeing a lot of that as what's next in the automotive world? Yeah, actually, yeah, we are. Um, you know, I, I think one of the newest things would be the Toyota Mirai concept. I, I keep saying concept. It's not a concept. It's an actual car you're going to be able to buy. It's a hydrogen-powered car, so it's got a lot of the same components that you'd find in an electric car, except instead of plugging it in, you'll have to go down to your nearest hydrogen fueling station, which you probably don't have, which is a little bit of a trick when it comes to hydrogen cars. But Toyota, um, you know, when they uh, brought out the Prius, uh, that was a very progressive car, but with their uh, massive power, they were able to make that thing a popular car, so they're actually investing in infrastructure. Uh, you have the Mirai, and you've got the hydrogen fueling station. They have to go hand in hand, and uh, Toyota seems to think that hydrogen has some, uh, some future. Hey, lots of cool stuff today. Where can our viewers go if they want to learn more? Well, as a, uh, an employee of Kelly Blue Book, I highly recommend you head over to kellybluebookskbb.com. There really is a ton of great information there, not only from the auto show here, but if, you buy, if you're buying or selling a car, just interested in cars in general, kellybluebookskbb.com. That's where I'd go. Thanks, Micah. Thanks a lot.